Now that we have a formalized build artifact, we can download that build artifact in a subsequent job. Let's walk through a scenario where we create a new job and download a build artifact created earlier in the workflow. We have our build project job that creates a static site artifact, and we want to create a new job that runs after build project that uses this static site artifact. Now, we already know the syntax of creating a job. We can create another job. So we'll create a release project job using our YAML. We'll call this name release project. We'll run it on Ubuntu latest, much like we do with built project. But the biggest difference is we will use the syntax here, needs, to indicate that it needs to run or a dependency on build project. That's the biggest difference between build, um, build project and release project, just creating that dependency so that it will run after. This is because release project will need to download the artifact that was uploaded by build project. So when we create our steps, the only step we need to create for now is a step to download the, um, the artifact from earlier. So we were going to use a first party action. We're going to go back to our browser. We have our GitHub actions. We used upload artifact earlier. We'll use download artifact this time. This one's a little easier. We just need to um, actions download artifact v3 and specify the name. They also recommend just for testing that you use ls to list the contents of a directory with the recursive flag. So we'll, we'll do just that. So download artifact, actions download artifact v3 with, and then the name of the artifact, static site. They also recommend that you um, test artifact download by running ls with the recursive flag. So implement artifact download will be the name of this commit. We'll sync our changes up. Again, pending no um, typos in our action workflow, we should have a successful implementation. So I want to call out something visually that's different here. We have our build project job, which has a visual line pointing to the release project job because this release project job needs build project to run first. So you'll see that build project has been queued up. It's already running. It's almost done. Release project won't start until build project is done, which usually takes approximately 30 seconds. So this one's almost done. Release project will start as soon as build project is done. So there we go. Build project's finishing up. Now release project can start. Release project is looking for agent with the label Ubuntu latest. It's going to download that artifact that was created by build project. So there we go. There's 154 files in the artifact that was created by build project. It's downloading them now. And it's going to test that artifact download by running ls with the recursive flag. So in the root, it has some files in the cache folder, in the cache webpack. You can see that it's basically printing out all a list of all the files that are available just to prove out that we've successfully downloaded that build artifact. So what you've seen here is that we functionally created a workflow with two jobs, one that runs after the other, otherwise they would run in parallel, and with an artifact that's handed from one job to the other. Um, this artifact is also useful if you're debugging or test, uh, just wanting to validate that the build results of the build job worked as an intended.